My father actually um, convinced me to apply uh, for a Grameen phone because there was a position at that time for marketing executive and uh, then I applied for Grameen phone without really knowing much about the industry at that time, to be very honest. But one thing I realized since I started marketing is that this will give me an opportunity to see how this new technology can be used uh, to um, solve problems for the people. When I started, it was in 1998. Um, in our team, in marketing itself, I, I didn't have any other uh, female colleague of mine. But uh, within the company, there were very few um, female employees that I had actually met. But over time, after I would say 2000, 2002, we saw more and more women joining the telecom industry because by then the industry itself was flourishing, right? So at first what I had seen is that uh, when um, women were being recruited, they were being recruited because, you know, they wanted to enhance their service portfolio. They didn't really think that women can actually contribute on the technology um, uh, side as well, right? So that's why over time when we started promoting, you know, what kind of uh, company uh, Grameen Phone is, that is the company where I started my career with, uh, we saw more and more uh, female employees who actually showed interest because there was also an issue about um, corporate culture, an issue about, uh, you know, gender biasness, right? So that's something that we always focused on and we made sure that there's no discrimination per se. Now, uh, after 19 years, since 1998, I, I can definitely see a lot of improvement in this sector. I see more and more women coming forward, not only in the corporate sector, but also as, as entrepreneurs, right? So they're taking their own initiative, they're learning more about computer science or other, you know, ICT-related um, areas and fields. So that's wonderful and I do see a lot of companies, private sector and even government sector coming forward and giving uh, many opportunities and platform for these women to actually participate and learn more and more about this sector. So we are creating awareness around this sector. At the same time, we are also creating job opportunities. Of course, there's a long way to go for us, right? But in our country with 160 million people, we have almost 130 million people who have access to this supercomputer, right? The mobile phone. And there are about 60 million people who have access to internet. But I think more men have access to internet than women. So that's the ratio that we need to change, okay? We need to see more and more women utilizing this uh, particular access and uh, gaining knowledge. Imagine 50% of the population are women, right? So if we can bring them together and give them this kind of skills, training on ICT sector, then definitely we will be on the right path of, of uh, you know, reaching our goal. So I would say that I'm happy with all the initiatives that are being taken by different organizations, uh, private or you know, public sector, even individuals taking that action. But please see to it that you see the end of it and see that it's actually resulting in what we are actually aiming for. So first of all, on the education side, Okay, we have to give opportunity, we have to create awareness and we have to ensure and convince more women to uh, take on subjects that will help them to pursue their career in ICT sector. Uh, another thing is, uh, of course, uh, employability, right, job opportunity. Those who are seeking um, jobs uh, in the corporate sector, we want those organizations, those companies to actually um, try to invite more and more women uh, you know, participants uh, when they're recruiting, right? So that's something that they really have to keep in mind. Some organizations keep a ratio, okay? Uh, they say 20-30% of the employees should be female, but we don't see that actually happening in practice, right? So we need to change that and we need to be conscious about it. And while we are recruiting, I'm sure there are many, many women who are as skilled or more uh, than, you know, their counterparts. So we really have to find them and, and give them that opportunity. You know, how uh, we are teaching our children. Why do we start off by saying that, oh, women will not be good at this? I mean, how do you know? I mean, uh, you know, we are equal when it comes to our mental, you know, prowess, I should say, right? So um, it's important that we don't discriminate from the start, okay? Then when you go to school at that level, yes, we have to now, as I was saying, uh, we have to convince and influence uh, you know, girls to take on uh, subjects uh, which are in this land because that's where the world is progressing, right? After industrial revolution, it's the digital 
revolution that's happening now, right? So you need to learn these, you know, skills, otherwise you'll be just falling behind. That's where the country is moving towards. So those are the areas that we have to really look into. And I expect that um, those who are now doing well will actually pull those, you know, other women up. Okay, we have to collaborate, we have to work together. And men who are working in this field will have to join hands with the women, okay? When you collaborate and, and you know, the mindset's a little different between men and women, right? So it's always a good force, you know, to meet and, and to decide and, and take, uh, you know, solutions forward, right? Because what we're trying to do by utilizing these technologies is provide a solution to a problem. So us women, we already have many issues to deal with and we can see how we can use this technology to actually um, mitigate that. I think ICT or no ICT, you know, women are com combating many battles, right, in their daily life. And uh, some battles are here in our head. Some battles are actually there, it's tangible. Some you can't even see, right? Um, so we, we just have to be committed to the goal that we set for ourselves. We just have to know that nothing comes easy. Hard work, commitment, uh, working on something diligently is extremely important. And try not to uh, get into that negative viral. There'll be forces that'll try to pull you down. If you focus on that, you're actually losing out on the opportunities that are there in front of you, right? So always look to the future, always look forward and see what else can I do and just break the shackles and just, you know, move forward. <laughs>